Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome into more Planet Zoo. All right, we are ready to continue our adventures here in Madagascar, and we are on the gold level missions for all of this. We got to uh, build a, it looks like we're going to be building a Gila monster exhibit. We've got to go find where we're going to do that. Oh, it's going to be right here. Okay. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap. That's oh, it's itty bitty. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier, then pop it into the gap. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do facilities. We're going to go under exhibits. Small exhibit? No, too small. This one? Yeah, this one. Okay. Perfect. The next thing to do is adopt an exhibit animal to go in there. Lovely. A gila monster. Gila. Open up the exhibit gila. trading section and adopt one. Okay. Animal trading. Exhibit trading. Yeah, we're going to take one of these. This animal is being adopted for cash. It cannot be released to the wild. Okay. Not very long, not don't live very long, but okay. As we do with habitat animals, we need to send the healer monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. Okay, send to zoo. It's gonna go when there. Oh, there, lovely. The exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct setup, but that doesn't mean it's completely ready. Oh, there he is. So let's Aww. finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring up its information panel. Okay. Good. Now click on the layout tab. Ah, okay. So we do a, we do that from oh. here. Well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment level one items unlocked at the moment. Never mind. Let's turn on at least one of them for the healer monster. Okay, let's turn on hiding place C. As I'm sure you know by now. You can unlock more enrichment levels by having all of them. Vets do some research. Now we'll also need to set the temperature and humidity in the exhibit. These are vitally important for keeping our healer monster happy and comfortable. Click on the climate tab. Here you okay. can see the healer monster's desired temperature and humidity. You can change both of these by adjusting the dials below. Make sure it's going to be nice and cozy. That's the ticket. And the last thing we need to look at is setting up the different windows. Okay. So click on the windows tab. Turn it down a couple of degrees, I think. There, there we go. Perfect. Low humidity, high temperature. You can windows. Customize any of the windows on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank or have a two dimensional background or even a three dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? That's the window two. There's also an exhibit education board. Pop them ah, down okay. the exhibit to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. Well, I will in a second. I'm, I want to see what this does. A 2D facade. Oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> 3D facade. Oh, that's kind of fun, actually. I like that one. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. A 3D facade on it. I like it. Hey, don't walk through the exhibit, lady. And we need an exhibit education board. It's going to be media and stuff. Education boards. Screen mount pole. Okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah, kind of like what they did over there. So I'm going to turn on the 45 degree snap angle. Put that, I'm going to put him right there. And turn that for the Gila monster. Awesome. Now our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Right, now... I've got a bit of a big job for you. 
I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Oh my. Come on, off you pop. I'll check in with you when you're hey. done. <laughs> he threw stuff at us here. Okay, well, let's check, check our Kila monster here. Um, so he's not very social. He's actually just fine by himself. So now we kind of get to have some fun and do our own, it looks like. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Um, let's see. Let's first take a look and see if there's any b other blank spaces that I could build something at. What was over here? This was the orangutans. He's good and social. This was the... The Bonobos, right. That was the Bonobos over here. So it looks like they gave us a few big spots that we can add some stuff in. Like right here, uh, possibly back here, and over here it looks like. So it gave us a few spots that we can probably add in some new... What is this down here? It's like a random little... Interesting, okay. Um, animal trading... We can have tapirs, more bonobos. Hippos. Oh, hippos. We could do a hippo exhibit. Oh, no, that would be fun. Oh, we could do a hippo exhibit somewhere. We could do a hippo exhibit over here, maybe. Oh, wait, we have hippos. I should probably look and see what we've got. Hold on. Let's pause. What do we actually have? That would be that would be good to know. All right, species. We have bonobos, orangutans, a Gila monster, two hippos, an iguana, some mandrills, red rough lemurs, ring-tailed lemurs. Okay, so that's what we have. So we could have some tapirs, some baruti. Oh, Western chimpanzees. Okay, Western chimps. That's an exhibit we could do. Giant burrowing. We could do some giant land snails. That would be kind of fun. Land snails. We got the Gila monsters already. Frogs. We could do some frogs. We already got some of those. Okay. Several things we can do. All right. Let's uh let's start making this happen. Actually, how are you? Are you good on social? No, you're not. You want some more friends. Um. Let's see. I want a hippo. I want another hippo. How many points do I currently have? I don't think I have many. I have 2,980. Okay. He's getting kind of old. He's kind of young. Yeah, which ones do I have already? I've got a male and a female. Probably want to get some females. Yeah, females. Ooh, all the females are kind of old, actually. He's not bad. 17 years. 14 years. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. Um, 14.8 years.
Something tells me, though, that I'm, I don't want males. I've already got a male. Alright. Oh, I see over here. Okay. Yeah, these are not particularly great. Small. Doesn't have a lot of... Decent for... Decent, uh... immunity on that one though these are males I probably don't want a male take a look at the zoopedia here tell me anything specific natural habitat here interspecies enrichment species data Males are dominant, yeah. Probably don't want too many males in here, so he's okay. All right, let's actually focus on making a, making some habitats. So what we're going to do is go into a time lapse, and I'm going to uh, probably start setting up some small exhibits, uh, like for some snails, I believe. Good to check this one more time, make sure that's what I'm looking for here. As we've got, we've got Eduardo and we got uh, Embry. We got the Gila monsters and stuff. I think that was it. No, we've got one giant burrowing cockroach. Right over there. Yeah. And we've got space for another, for another one right there, actually, too. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go into a time lapse here. We're going to get some new stuff set up. So I'll see you guys after the time lapse.
All right, guys. Well, that took a long time. You guys only seeing a very short bit, but it's been about an hour and a half. Uh, so this is my first little exhibit I built right here. Um, you know, it's nothing spectacular, of course. It's just a very simple exhibit. Just kind of getting my feet wet with some of the different options and everything. Um, you saw me kind of playing around with some of the advanced options to kind of throw together a little something right here. You know, just kind of just kind of learning how it all works for the most part. And um, yeah, not too bad. I did complete it by to get the 12 by putting my tapirs over here. I did find out that the tapirs don't mind living with the uh, with these particular types of monkeys, the, the mandils, mandarils. Yeah. The blue butts. I like to call them the blue butts. So I found that they don't mind living with them. So I put them over there with that and that got me the 12 that I needed. And of course we had some of the other smaller exhibits in the uh, little glass cages. I think I did the snails. I did a couple of snails over here. Yeah. So yeah, all in all worked out pretty well. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, what you, <laughs> I'd cut this out of the video, but I was actually trying to figure out how to put an exhibit, like a little, glass exhibit right here and i deleted all of this my god let me tell you i was like oh jesus but i did cut that out because it was a bit of a mess but yeah so you know not exactly the most exciting exhibit right here but it was my first little foray into testing and playing with it and everything and playing with some of the tools and just kind of just kind of seeing what all happens it's going to take me a little while to get used to it but i think later on it's going to be quite uh, quite a lot of fun and everything. So there with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you will uh, stick around for the next episode. Until then, take care.